Hello, this is Shelby Lorman from Chess Gorilla. Thank you for getting us the 20 prototypes to test out. These are the problems we've seen so far. All right, first thing. I set this for a game in 80. So I'm going to go to create new, one phase, game in 80 minutes. Time delay, yes, five seconds. Game delay, game 80, D5, save. Now, what we need to do is go into favorites, select it. Now, let's say we start playing, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, let's say we want to go into the TD adjust mode. First thing you have to do is stop it, which turns the light red. Hold it down till this light turns blue. Now, we're in the TD mode. All right, so let's say we subtract two minutes off this guy's clock. If you notice, it's, it's gone from 79 minutes to an hour and 17 minutes. Yes, we did take off two minutes on this guy's side, but it's gone to hours, minutes, and seconds instead of just minutes and seconds. That is a problem that needs to be fixed. And if you look, it says we've added 98 minutes to that guy's clock. That is wrong. It needs to be fixed. Now, second thing, we're still going to use this game in 80 with five seconds delay. Five, four, three, two, one. If you notice, right here, even though it's his first move, it doesn't say move one, it says move zero. Let's say they actually make a move, it still says move zero. Only on White's second move does it say first move. That is wrong, that needs to change. Now, next thing, we're still going to keep it on the game 80, just because it's convenient. Let's say we wanted to correct the moves, right? Pause it, get into TD mode. If we cycle through, since it's a single time control, it does not allow us to adjust the moves. We need to be able to adjust the moves in a single time control, double time controls for everything. Now, on the side of the clock, we have a USB-C port. Here's the thing. We have no idea what it's for. When I talked to Sherman Chen, he was saying that we wanted to have it there in case you know, we wanted to allow programming of the clock with a USB-C cord through either an app or a computer. Here's the problem. This is an ingress for water, soda, snow, junk, everything else. I appreciate the idea, but this hole needs to go. It serves no purpose now, and it's going to create confusion with the customer. I like the idea of what Sherman said, hey, we can use it for programming later, but as for right now, it's just useless. It needs to go. Now, one thing higher rated players like to do is to do something called time odds to where one side of the clock will be set for, let's say, five minutes, and then their clock will be set for one, two, say, three minutes. So what will happen is it needs to be set for five and one. That's one of the things that Karo Nakamura likes to do. Right now, to do that, we have to click global list. We have to go to short games. And there's a game in five. Now, what we have to do is start it, pause it, hold this down to get into TG adjust, and we're going to have to take one side down to one minute. and then cycle through and do it this way. Now, the problem is 
This is not savable right now. We need it to be savable. There needs to be a way in the programming to set one side for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, whatever the time odds to have this be the standard timing and this be a lesser timing and have it be saved in the clock. This is something that people like to do. High rated players like grandmasters, if they're a super GM, they'll play other grandmasters 5-3, five, 5-2, five, 5-1 five, in some cases. We need to be able to set the clock for five minutes on one side, one minute on the other side, or you know, have that be in the create new settings if there could be a time odd setting. Alrighty, thank you. Next thing is, we need some of the preset settings in the global list to change. So let's say we go to global list and we go to London Chess Classic. London Chess Classic is a tournament that we aren't ever going to be able to get our clock in. It would, would have been nice to show Malcolm over in London this, but it's not something that he's going to do. We would like to change London Chess Classic to US CF settings. And then in there, we need to have a Scholastic main, which would be a game 90 D10, friends and family, which would be a game 30 D5, a US Open six day, which is 40 and 100, sudden death 30, increment 10, a US Open four day, which would be game 60 D5, or an invitational, which would be game 90 I30. Another thing we need to change is International Chess Festival. We could sell a lot of these clocks at this tournament, but when you choose these, they've changed their time controls. For the International Chess Festival, for the, you know, we need to have a bunch of new settings. Open regular, game 90, I30, open three day, Game 60, I-10, open two-day, game 25, I-5, beginner, game 25, I-5, women's, game 90, I-30, IYC, game 45, I-10, and then youth trophy, game 25, D-5. We would also like to add another global setting instead of, you know, in likes of the International Chess Festival, we'd want to have Continental Chess, or maybe just have it say C-O-N-T-C-H-E-S-S. -S. Their time controls are, their standard is 40, 80, sudden death 30, D30. Two day, which is game 60, D10. Open, which is 40, 90, sudden death 30, D30. And three day, which would be game 35, D10. Now, let's say we want to save a bunch of time controls into this into this clock. Right now, if you go to favorites, there's no favorites. So let's go to time controls. Like here, let's go into global list. We play game 60, D5. I'm going to save this, right? And then we also play... Game 25, or game 30, D5. So let's save that, right? We also play game 90, D5. So let's go to long games. 90 is an hour and 30, D5. So let's save this, right? So let's say we go back to favorites. Time controls, favorites. If you look over here, it says it's locked. When you save it to favorites, it's supposed to be in the favorites, but it's not supposed to be locked. You're only supposed to be able to lock what you want, right? So it doesn't write over, and if you lock it, it's supposed to stay at the number that it goes to, right? So if you look, let's go back to one. Game, you know, game 90 D5, 
Second would be game 30 D5. And game in, uh, game in 60 D5, right? So let's say we go and add another setting. If those are locked, those are supposed to stay under locked one, two, and three. Okay, but let's say we go to time controls and we add something else. Let's create something. Create new one phase. Let's say it's game five minutes. Time delay, no. Increment, yes. I3. So a game five, I3. Let's say we save it. Now a game five I3 is in the locked function and it's under setting number one. If we save something, it's supposed to save into favorites and we have the choice on whether to lock it to that position or not. Right now, when it's saved, it's automatically locked. We'd have to go in and unprotect it. That's not the way I wanted it to no. get done. One thing that I've had happen, which I, for some reason, cannot recreate it right now, is when you save a function into the favorites, sometimes it'll save twice. Most of the time, it'll save once. But for some reason, sometimes when you save a function, it will save twice and take up two spots. Now, the newest thing that we found is let's say we we're playing this game 90 d5 so watch let's say we're playing and yeah, as you notice the move counters off i don't really care about that let's say we pause it and that person had four seconds left on his time delay right if we go in and do td adjust and do the same thing where we subtract two minutes off the person's clock. See, we subtract two minutes, right? Go back here. And it's now this person's time. And we start it again. It starts the delay over. When we do a TD adjust, we need to make sure that whatever time delay is there when the clock is stopped is the time delay that is there when the clock is restarted. 